Right, um, at the weekend, it's been, I suppose, speculated. Um, nothing really confirmed by, from either club, but West Ham have allegedly opened talks with Middlesbrough over re-signing Darren Randolph um, to go back and play for them. He obviously got sold in 2017. I, I suppose at the time, it was a very good move for Darren, going to Middlesbrough, first team football. Um, you know, they'd just been relegated from the Premier League because uh, he, he obviously went there on, on a decent wage. And they signed, he signed for 4.5 million at the time. And I suppose, I think every Middlesbrough fan will say to you how crucial and what a goalkeeper he's been for them. They absolutely love him there. Yeah. And the fact now that he's linked with a return to West Ham, I think there's, there's issues with money at Middlesbrough at the moment. They're trying to... Yeah, well, get kind of maybe get Darren's wage bill off. Yeah, I'm I'm not too up on the wage bill, but I know Middlesbrough have, have been struggling this season. Mm. Though they had a win, a good win at the weekend. But well, it was reported in that that his they yeah. were trying to maybe get his wage bill off okay. the books. Um, I mean, they were the parachute payments are going to start running out. They're well, they're struggling in the championship. Um, be two nearly three years into it now, wouldn't it? Yeah, so I think it was the last three years. Is it? They could, yeah, yeah. So, so we'll, we'll be coming um, into the last year now. Yeah, and, and the gates look. They're they're not challenging even for the playoffs. I mean, that have been talked about as possibly going down to League One, which would be a total disaster for a club that size. But um, they, yeah, they have to be looking at the cost and everything like that. Now, um, Darren has been superb for Middlesbrough. He was. Uh, their player of the year wasn't you know the yeah fans, the team fans, the fans player, player of the year and the championship championship yeah as, as you say championship player of the year but he had um, like 19 clean sheets last season and not to mention the clean sheets he had at Ireland you know when Ireland were so poor so poor yeah. it actually hurts me um you know you think back to the North Ireland games the Denmark games um and he was amazing oh uh, yeah look the, he's unquestionably our number one keeper he's been superb for us and it's probably why we're it's so important that we're we're talking about him and we need to see him playing regularly. Mm, I think um, he's as important as Shane Duffy. Yeah, if not, and more, I mean, if not more. Uh, yeah, and I think it's probably it, it goes down to maybe I've said this before. The whole strength of our team is probably in our back five, is Darren Randolph, and uh, maybe in the back six. I'll go up to Glenn Whelan, but we leave Glenn for the moment. But the, from a defense, our, our strength, the strength of our team is our defense, and it's our goalkeeper, our back four, and. Or, or holding midfielder, that, so we are. I mean, th that's probably crucial, and they're the the key players that we need fit for the playoffs. I mean, we're not going to go to Slovakia and win four three. We might win one nil, draw one one, win in penalties or something like that. But uh, we're not going to score a lot of goals and it's to get to the Euros. So it's it's keeping keeping clean sheets is going to be crucial. Yeah, and I think well, and I think what needs to happen is is Darren playing at the highest level he can, and just more than capable of playing Premier League football. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, and uh, if the West Ham story is true, and no, I would hope that if he's going to West Ham, he's going as first choice. I know they've had they had issues with Adrian, and they played. Well, Joe Hart Alvin. came in. Yeah, Joe Hart came in, and then <laughs> he didn't yeah. work out. Alvin Martin's son was in goal. No, he had a blinder. He had a blinder against uh, against Chelsea. Right. Kept a clean sheet, so it's okay. Right. So um, Al Alvin Martin's son came in and played played against Chelsea, and, and he he was brilliant. But I, I don't know if he's the uh, the the option no, for them. They were, he's, they, he's they were going mad about that. A really goalkeeper. And the fans have gone mad. He basically dragged them from six down to like near the relegation zone, and they've yeah. just not been happy with him. Fabianski is a great goalkeeper, and I think he struggled at Arsenal with the pressure. I think going to a, maybe a lesser club and with no disrespect, you know, West Ham lads follow the page and okay. West Ham fan TV. Um, boys follow the page as well. Uh, but I suppose, with, with all due respect, West Ham are, are not Arsenal. And I think they, he seems to be doing very well, you know, for West Ham. And since he's came in, he's been very good. He came, I think he came from Swansea at the time. But and took over from Joe Hart. But the thing is, like, I suppose Darren's excelled. By going down to Middlesbrough, he's excelled. Um, obviously at international level as well, that would obviously help. But uh, what I love about Darren, and I, and I think anyone 
who has him at his club is they love how how just of a nice guy he is. You know, he's he, if you ever have well, I don't know if you've ever seen the Ireland training, he he, he loves actually helping the likes of O'Hara and Travers and he's just a okay. genuinely really, really nice fella and I just really wish him all the best with whatever he does. Yeah. And that's, that's you know, I haven't spoken to him about this this move or whatever or you know even if the talks is like there's no actual uh, i suppose official confirmation unless you take 90 minute 90 min football for um a trustworthy source now they are verified now it, so. it, i suppose it is as you say it's all speculation in some ways it does make sense though because i don't think we've mentioned anyone who's a better goalkeeper than darren randolph so i mean and west ham are look the they're not doing that well at the moment. They've been struggling. They had a fantastic win at Chelsea, uh, and Martin had a great game in goal. But uh, apart from that, they've they've been on a poor run. And I think if they, they, it certainly makes sense that they would want somebody like Darren. It would be great for us if Darren was playing regularly in the Premier League. Um, I I would expect him to get his place back at Middlesbrough if not. But. Um, we certainly need him playing regularly for March. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I certainly wouldn't be surprised if Premier League clubs were looking at Darren. His, his performances for Middlesbrough and his performances at international level. It, he is a top keeper. Um, yeah, I think as well is that um, if, he does co- if he does go to West Ham, um, the thing I'd be conscious of is that if he... If he, if he does sign and Fabianski comes back, does Fabianski become the number one straight away? That's the question I would want to know. Like, I've seen people saying that Fabianski, or Randolph is better than Fabianski. I don't know about that. I think Fabianski is a really good goalkeeper. Um, probably a bit underrated. And I've seen West Ham fans commenting on an image that we put up yesterday saying that you know Fabianski is better. And then I've seen other people arguing that Randolph is better. So it, it is one of those situations where I don't, I don't care whether he stays at Middlesbrough or West Ham, as long as he's playing first team football. That's I, I, yeah. I, I think well, I, that that ideal, is the most important thing in I an think, ideal yeah. world. I want him to go to West Ham and be the first choice, but I don't want him to go and be the second choice and sit on a bench and not be playing and not be sharp. Yeah, no, because the, he's so crucial, similar to Shane Duffy, to how we go about things. Our strong point, as you mentioned, is our defence. We we built from the back. I know we don't score a lot and and so on, but our foundation starts from the from the defence, and that's our strong point. And to not have two players that are probably uh, right now, you know, Darren's had a couple of injuries recently, um, and so on. But you want to see these players fit, active, playing, and in the right kind of mould. You know, I think players like Duffy and Aldean needs a couple of games to get his rhythm. Yeah, and at the moment. They don't really have a rhythm. And the problem with the position like goalkeeper, I mean, uh, it's so specialised. They, yeah. they can only play one. It's not it, like you're going to yeah. sub your keeper uh, no, after you're, 60 minutes. Exactly, you know, you're not. Unless he's injured. Or yeah, so uh, only, only an international off. friendly or something like that. Yeah, you see exactly. that. So there will be very limited opportunities for second choice goalkeeper. So yeah, I'd agree in an ideal world, I'd like to see Darren playing week in, week out in the Premier League. I'd be very happy if he was playing regularly for Middlesbrough once he's match fit, match sharp come March. It's mm. absolutely crucial. So in an ideal world, I myself personally would like to see Darren sign for West Ham and be number one. Um, if that's not the case, then if not Middlesbrough, maybe a, a bigger jump anyway. But I think there is clubs out there that it, maybe that they see that Darren may be available. Again, this is all speculation, but if he is available, maybe other clubs might look at it. You know, you know Tom Heaton went to Aston Villa. He's been brilliant. You know, um, so there's, there's there is teams in the Premier League that could take it a risk yeah. on, a, on a keeper that could come up and do well. You know, well, Darren's an established international goalkeeper, so yeah, I, I don't think it's even a risk. Yeah. Is it a risk? Yeah, no. Darren Randolph, no way. Come on, Crystal <laughs> Palace or somewhere. somewhere yeah, like that, he's, he's not a risk. He he's a proven quality keeper I don't think there's any risk yeah, yeah. sorry maybe risk was the wrong word I okay. didn't mean it like that well, but, um, yeah. yeah let us know your thoughts anyway in the comments and uh, yeah I think 
for me, it, it it would be a winner of a move if he, if he can get in January if Fabianski's still out injured and and stake a claim. It'll be interesting to see how they kind of get on now where Pellegrini stays. Or, if that affects it, if Pellegrini's the man who wants him, because you don't, you just don't know. You know, I know he loves West Ham and he had a great time there, so I think he would welcome the move anyway. Okay. Anything to add? No, I think that's yeah. Yeah. That's all your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Excuse me, and we'll speak to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.